All right. Uh, Twitch. Do you want to handle uh, letting it up? If it's not there, do you want me to do it? Uh, I've, got I've got the page, page up. I'll do it right, right now. now. Let, Let the, the people, people know. know. We're live. Are we? We are. Oh, yeah. yeah we're, we're definitely live. live. How's, How's everybody, everybody doing? doing? Uh, we're just, just put. We're, we're a little behind at the moment. I'm going to be dropping the uh, links up across the internet and Facebook and all that stuff. Come check us out. Uh, it's been a crazy week, Joe. Yes. Yes, it has. We actually have quite a bit of UFS news, which is kind of rare right now. We're in that dry season. Well, it's, it's just, just before, before a big, a big tournament. tournament. Uh, we didn't start pre- like surprisingly. You know, we have a set coming out in a little over oh, a little over a month, and we have no cards to talk about yet. So yeah, like it's it's gonna be it's interesting. That's very true. I'm assuming that we'll start getting spoilers after next weekend, or we'll probably get some spoilers at nationals. Probably. I mean, if Jason's going to be there, that means you guys will go out to eat. He'll bring the laptop and show everything off. As <laughs> per verbatim. All right, I got some groups shared. Okay. okay. So, let's uh, um, talk about some, some different, different things, things that are going on. Yes. Uh, first, first of all, we talked. Talk, they they posted the prize, prize support for nationals, nationals next, next weekend. weekend. Yes. Uh, let's. I didn't grab all of them. I only grabbed the two that's being the most talked about. Cause yeah, but uh, I'll run it down. We'll do a quick rundown of whatever what we got coming. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, if you participate in either event, singles or teams, uh, you are guaranteed a Greek Fire Napalm Man U.S. Nationals 2016 map exclusive to the event, uh, which is I, I won't lie, awesome. Uh, we, we also, also got confirmation of prize support that, and I, I, we have only, I will note one thing that's a little odd is we have Garrett, we know what prize support is for singles. This probably will roll over for teams as well, but it's listed in the thing specifically following will be handed out each round on Saturday, which is during singles for prize support. So we don't know exactly what's going on with teams. If there's going to be, there'll probably be stuff coming out throughout the rounds or, you know, you know, expect something. Uh, obviously, booster boxes, packs, the top eight teams and top eight singles. Uh, win the tournament, get everything. Uh, get, the, get the asset or get the character card. But we got some cool stuff coming out for, for promos for the event. First of all, playing round one, you get a throw it down promo. Uh, looks, looks like, like it has, according to the picture there, it has been updated as an action, so it's not a foundation anymore. Uh, round two, we get white border Sagakis, which have been floating around for a while. Round three, uh, white border Natali One Dot. Uh, this card was from the was original was just started into the prize support. I, I got one in Michigan a few weeks ago. It looks great. And maybe the card will get some play this time around. Maybe the format will show up for Natali in this, this specific character. Uh, round four, White Border Silence. It's getting reprinted in Blood Omen. Looks awesome. Uh, round five, White Border Death Valley Faceplant. I need one more of these, so I'm happy with this. And then there's the round six and seven, where all we have are the names of the cards. We obviously have pictures of the cards. And that they are Grim in Wonderland sneak peek promos. We really don't know much else about that, but we let's talk about them. Uh, which one are we talk about first, Joe? Uh, we are talking first off about Party Crasher, which is a five difficulty two plus three low block, four high for five reversal attack off of all chaos and earth. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, considering these are promos, they get the full art promo template or a newer, even newer version template, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know why Jazzco keeps altering the templates for these things, but, you know, new players are going to get these. So, you know, I guess having the arrows for zones now and... They're, they're, they're really, really cool, cool for, for promos. promos. Um, 
I, I obviously, I don't like. I wouldn't like him in the the general. Like I, I, the, I'm, I was fine with the changes to the block, the block template. That being a shield, that that explains it so much easier for people. Yeah. Um, but I like a couple of little things about this. Uh, we got the like, attack, and it's got like a little sword symbol to it. It's kind of cool. Uh. So, so let's, let's talk about what this card does. Okay. Uh, it's first, first effect is after this card is discarded, um, obviously this is meaning from your hand, uh, due to your opponent's effect, you may discard one attack from your opponent's card pool. So if your opponent makes you discard a card uh, and you discard this card, you can discard and abort their attack. It's not bad. Uh, and then it has response card pool remove. As your opponent adds any number of cards to their hand due to their effect, they lose five vitality. Whew. Um, this card's pretty cool. I, It's a five death reversal, which kind of makes it a little shaky in my, my opinion, but I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. Uh, it's a cool card. Will it see play? Maybe. Like, it, it just depends. depends. Like, like it, it seems like this is still in the. We were keep being told that like we're gonna start seeing attacks like be better and more efficient. And, like this attack does a lot of things, but there's attacks that are out now. I'd rather just play over it. Yeah. Maybe down the line as things rotate, maybe I'll want to play it. But right now, I'm good. Oh, um, what's your what do you think of it, Joe? Um, I don't know how valid the first attack, first, uh, E is going to be, because we really don't have a whole lot of discard unless there's something down the line that we don't know about that's going to be True. forcing us to discard. So, but there is some stuff out there, but it's not really heavy enough to be, uh, make that first effect very relevant. Mm -hmm. Uh... Discarded due to your opponent's effects. I mean, discarded means from the hand, right? Yes, yes. that's why I, I did okay. advise that. Um, yeah, if it's from the hand, there are very few things right now that actually attack the opponent's hand. So I really don't know how to feel about that. Um, this seems like it's going to be more useful for the second R, uh, for the R than anything. Mm -hmm. Of just play it and wait for uh, them to draw effect and then you know then they lose five you get to clear a card from your card pool and continue attack mm -hmm. and in some cases this may even be better if they draw the card on your turn because then it's guaranteed five damage uh, or excuse me while this attack is being played because you can remove it as a response any time they draw a card so draw or add like draw that's a like, like when, when, when that, the, the biggest thing to remember is if a card says add, add any number of cards, cards that covers draw effects and adding effects. But if it said do it to when your, when your opponent draws cards, cards drawing, drawing doesn't, doesn't cover, cover the add. Like it's, it's like, like one covers all, one, one just covers one specifically. specifically. Yeah. So like, actually, I like this better if you actually do it on your turn, like as an actual like immediate response, because I mean you play it. And like they do, uh, caught in the shade, mm -hmm. add a card to their hand via their discard pile to get that block they need. Uh, yeah. uh, you don't even have to worry about the block they just put in hand. You just immediately burn them for five damage. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, so that's sometimes that's a better, better play. play. Like if yeah. they, like, yeah. you're like, like you're in the middle, middle of this attack, attack like, like trying to enhance this attack, attack and, they and they just, just do a, a fact, fact, you're just like, like I really just burn you for five, like guarantee five damage and just go from there. Oh yeah. So this is definitely good. I mean, as you said, there are better cards uh, off these symbols with this difficulty. But, yep. um, you know, like I said, uh, if they put your attack at below printed damage and they draw a card, they're going to lose five and you're not out anything. So, you know, it has mm -hmm. its pluses, it has its minuses. That first effect, we still don't have enough active discard in the game to, like, you know, make that worthwhile but who's to say what's this little gem uh, a preview of what could possibly be a set or 10 uh world of ending starter pack we don't know but 
Mm-hmm. Maybe somewhere in there is more uh, discard heavy. Uh, let's get the second one up. Oh, I, like I like the second, second one. one. Yeah. This inadvertently started a mass argument, from my understanding. What was it yesterday? <laughs> I, think I think it was, it, think, and it was a misinterpretation. I think, I think that's that what happened. We'll talk about it kind of quick. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the even I messed up on the understanding. Like I, I, I had to like I went into the because when some person pulled out the LGR for a, a res, to respond to it, I decided to pull out the LGR. Instead, I should have gone with uh, uh, read the effing card. <laughs> All right, so Bye-bye. this is Race Against Time. This is a 3-4, no block, evil, good, and void, which the void is why this card is getting a lot of attention right now. Um, it's response, remove. After an attack is played, remove it. Its owner may play one attack with the same printed difficulty as the removed card from their discard pile with no check necessary. Yep. yep. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Um... I say this is, this card has some va- has value. I think it's gonna be might be a little while until it actually has value though. Um, but first and foremost, this card will will do things uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, biggest things like there's a lot of interaction this has. I like this card defensively because if you just look at your opponent's discard pile, you're like, oh. You, you, you played a 5 death attack. attack. You don't have another 5 death. death. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll race against time you. <laughs> yeah, they're just out of attack. Um, See, I like I'll... this. May I? Yeah. Because yeah. I want to play the opposite side of the coin. I like this offensively because I'm thinking like base off Void. He has a mm-hmm. very large, large scope of 5 difficulty attacks. You can mm-hmm. place if you've checked something that you want to play and you don't have any don't have it in hand, you can play it, play race against time and get that dark laser and exchange it for something else. Yeah. yeah. Or um, just any other just really good attacks like a uh, king has good right. Uh, uh king, king does, does not have, have good. good. Which one is it that I'm thinking of that has good? Maybe mine. Leona. Oh, Leona. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so like they and it's play when are we counting it as played are we going through like immediately played or oh, oh yeah. yeah pretty, pretty much, much if that's, that's the, the i have I made the, the check the check, check is, is good, good. The, the card has entered, entered the carpool card okay yeah so this can actually auto correct or give you that card that you need to kill them or they have screwed up they've done a response that's going to screw you over to the card being played you can then respond to them, uh, their response, uh, it pops, uh, their target fizzles, you get a new card in, and you say, go, keep going from there. So yep. Jesse's very right. Uh, defensively, this thing is just fantastic. I like the offensive stance that this thing takes, but it, this is really, really good. I'm yep. really wondering why the Cheshire Cat is chasing down Cinderella, Cinderella in a Cinderella. That's yeah, Cinderella. Cinderella. She's in the she's in the, she's the pumpkin, pumpkin wagon. wagon. Yeah, I know. It's grim fairy tales. I, I keep forgetting weird shenanigan shared universe stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the really, really cool, cool thing this card gets to do uh, is get to, get to play, play cards on your. You'll play attacks on your opponent's turn uh, that should not be played on your opponent's turn. Uh, a couple of cards people have been talking about uh, doing this with is. Uh, if, if I play, I play a reversal, reversal, if I play, a, let's say, let's, let's use Rolling Cutter. Cutter as my, we'll use Rolling Cutter as my basis. I'm playing Mega Man three dot. I have three Mega Mans in play and three momentum. I go block, reversal of Rolling Cutter. I then respond with uh, Race Against Time, remove my Rolling Cutter from the game, and then I play Astro Crush from my discard pile. I then give Astro Crush multiple three. And, and then, then also, also I get Astro Crush's ability of these these, these face downs get dragged down at the end of the turn. But I literally just put 20 damage on the board that my opponents must defend against on their turn. Oh yeah. It's it's, it's mind boggling how cool this card can do. This card will do some really cool things. Will it break the game? No. 
Like, I, you will have to play a really long control match for this card to be really insane. But that, like, you will do. There'll be a, there'll be a deck somewhere in the next PC in a PTC cycle. Like, I want to break it. I don't I, I don't know if I can break this card, but I can use it the most efficiently way possible, and that's playing a reversal and then playing a giant attack that's like shouldn't be played on my opponent's turn. Um. So I actually have a card that we may look at it. Uh, I need to know uh, if there are two respond effects that trigger when it comes into play. Do you get to decide how they trigger the sequence of triggers? What? What's, what's the, the cards? cards? I mean, cut plane. Oh. So what? response to cut plane. Cut, cut plane. plane. Uh, it's the six difficulty, six mid for four. Uh, endings card that says discard through momentum after you play this attack. Look at your opponent's hand and discard all non-attack cards from it. Oh, so you go cut plane, respond with cut plane's effect, and then go response race against time? Yeah. You can do that. But do you get to decide the sequence of what to come into play responses trigger first? Well, because one's in your hand, you can go this one triggers first because this is the one being played, and then let that resolve. The window's still there, and then play race against time. Yeah. Okay, so you cut plane, you race against time into, let's say, Napalm Bomb or Scorch Wheel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the real, the real stupid one is Scorch Wheel. Like, you're just like, like, in the Scorch Wheel decks, you're just like, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a bunch of things, and then I'm going to play Sagaki Offering. Oh, now it's a Scorch Wheel. Oh, yeah. Because why not? Right, or uh, cut plane into Rain Flush. Yeah. I mean, you effectively potentially eliminate half the cards in their hand. Like, let's, let's see here if there is a void. void. I want to see if there is a void five difficulty. That's what I'm rever- doing. Yeah, yeah I want to check. Is there a reversal of five difficulty and void? There is not currently. Uh, what about good? There isn't good, though. There is Rising Tackle and Neurofatica. Uh, it just... what. Well, we're also looking at uh, fours. You got uh, rolling cutter and topspin. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean good, good has a lot of them. Uh, yeah. And then and if you, you look, look at void on fours, fours reversals, there's, there's not any. No. Sadly. Yeah. yeah. There's crash drive. Oh, no, wait. Spin, no, wait, no cut sorry. Spin, I, have, I have a thing. I have a thing, James. I had to change my I had numbers. numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah crash drive, topspin, top cut slam, rolling cutter. Like, let's see what's under evil for uh, for evil fours. Reversal? There's OM, and after, like, the next, after our Red Horizon 2 rotates, there will only be one currently. There's, yeah, we lose. But under fives, you have the Vos and Aerial Ring Boomerang. I mean... Go, go for the, the go, go for the fences, fences here, people. This could this could be fun. Like, like I, I want, want the people to play this card, card just to like interact, make, make crazy interactions happen. happen. That's all the reason I'm gonna play this card. If anybody yeah, wonders what I'm doing with this card, it's gonna be like it's a crazy interaction. Why not? I love it. I think it's really cool. Like it's gonna do. It's it's not. I don't think it's game breaking. I think it's just this is a card. That we'll see a lot of play in people who really want to find out, like, they'll play it offensively, defensively, and go again. Yeah. So, what is Daniel Tyler doing? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep seeing this. I think Daniel Tyler has seen the same musician perform for the last three nights. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. To each their own. Because. I'll have to ask her at at, um, at Nationals next week. Anyways. All right. Yeah. So this card, this card's cool. cool. Speaking of Nationals. So, yeah, cards are great. Pick these up at Nationals. No one's going to, like, be disappointed with this stuff. Yeah. I like it a bunch. Uh, I love the Cheshire symbol. Good idea. Um, Kind of not really thrilled that we need... Well, I guess it's for new players. I keep forgetting it's new player. For those of us that have been playing UFS, everybody knows the game's pretty color-coded, so... Yep. So, I mean, 
Oh. I, I keep getting we're getting, getting new players all the time, and they might not know that orange card, blue card is how you win the game. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Nationals, yeah. Uh, so that's coming up next weekend in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Jesse, you got like what three, four, five potential decks to take down there. Um, I am, I am going, going with four, four decks in my, in my possession. possession. Uh, uh, specifically, specifically, I need to. I'm, I'm bringing three decks. decks on the, I'm, I'm playing one of these three decks for teams, teams and it's whatever I feel comfortable with that morning. morning. Uh, I'm, I'm more, more than happy, happy to share my characters ca for two, two of them because I have them built. Uh, my, my singles, singles deck, deck is is a duller deck, deck completely, completely, and I've, I've actually had, had my deck. My, my, the people who know who know me have I've talked a bit about some of my decks that I'm testing and. And, and I, can't I can't wait to play, play it. The one I have been testing for like the last month uh, since, since actually pretty much since, since Michigan. Michigan. I like I came back from Michigan. I'm like, well, the core of this deck works, but the character's wrong. So I found a better character. The uh, Ice Man was great and all, but I couldn't play. I can't play. I can't play twenty. I can't play nine. It was seventeen two checks or less in a deck. It's just too risky. Uh, so, so my first, my first character, character that I will be is in my card pool list for my team's event. That's Holly Tudot. Uh, why is she so good in teams? Uh, there are some decks that just can't keep up with her. Like you could just go and there. If there's decks that are trying to play with what I like to refer as fair UFS, like they're objectiving to hit you over over several turns and not like aggro you. Or, or you're a twenty, or you're, you're a twenty, 20 health character. character. Natalia is perfect for those matchups. And this is the uh, dragon flare Natalia. This, 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 yeah, this, this is, is the launch, launch dragon, dragon players in Natalia. Natalia. Uh, uh, my, my second, second character, character right now is this man, uh, Napalm uh, Man. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris Pratt pretty, pretty much showed, showed me how Napalm Man is a beast. beast. Uh, and, and I, I just, just after, after all the testing I've, I've done, done with other decks to want to have in a pool for teams, uh, I found, found a build, build for him that I like. And I don't know. I, I see him. I see myself playing him. It's really good in teams. It's another deck that's really good in teams uh, because you can just per set up properly and just not lose. I think that's the best way to describe it. Uh, my final deck, let me get my character out of the pile here, uh, is something that I probably wouldn't play, mainly because I don't think it fits well in my team combination with my other two players, and that was King. Uh, I built a version of King off of Earth with new enhancements. Uh, if you are want to play multiples of a unique foundation in a game at one, at one turn, that card's perfect for it. Like to go play your first attack, pop unquestionable loyalty, remove new enhancers from the game, play another unquestionable loyalty from your hand, put it into play, pop another unquestionable loyalty, and then, and then plus her ability. Like, you could literally play your first kick of the turn, and they are, by, by your third enhance, they have five cards in their card pool. Like, it's ridiculous how what could happen. Uh, the deck is very high risk, high reward, uh, once again, because it's very draw dependent. You don't really have a lot of regrowth and, like, card manipulation. Like, I'm playing, I was playing Head, head Crush. Because I needed a way to get back uh, tornado kicks, but so like I have a, like I have other things I'm thinking about uh, for teams. On as teams is kind of an open format where if you're as long as you're filling something that your other two teammates are not, it, it's helpful. Like I have a really have a really strong team I think uh, with me, uh, Jeffrey Kahn, and Jack Hale. I think we'll do just fine. I think we'll easily top eight. Uh, with our build, with our decks, uh, I'm hoping I'm planning to put giggles, get, put, put, put me and J me and Jack on the back of giggles, and giggles is gonna go like, we're gonna play six rounds of team or five rounds of teams, and giggles is gonna be our our XO, and then it's just gonna be me or Jack are gonna take up a win every round, 
that's all that matter. All right. Uh, well, I wish everybody luck at war, uh, nationals. Uh, I will not be able to make it. I have other engagements and just simply do not have the money to get down there as I am planning to take a vacation the beginning of November. Uh, to Where are you Denver, going? Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Oh, you're doing, doing the, the convention, convention again? again? Yep, I got asked back, and I'm more than happy to go and help out friends over in Colorado while simultaneously meeting uh, Grant Gustin's uh, TV parents of John Wesley Ship and the nice lady that plays the mom in Flash, <laughs> along with a bevy of other ki uh, wonderful people. Like Did you find out if you're going did you, you find, find out if you're getting assigned to anybody, anybody high end for assistance for the weekend? Uh, I'm sure that'll come when it comes. Uh, I mean, the Jordan, <laughs> well, last year, who was who was the person you were assigned with last year? The the one uh, creator of the creator of T Titans, right? George Perez. What? No. What? Who was it last year? Was that who you were with last year? George Perez. Okay, it was George Perez. <laughs> I'm like, like I, yeah, I knew it was, it was like, like it was somebody like, like it was a you know, it was a name like, like it, was it was not like, like I had to like Google I'm like I knew this name and then I watched the Titans again I watched the Titans like oh that guy he also was the one of the principal writers and artists for Crisis on Infinite Earths the first major DC uh, first major team up event mm -hmm. or crossover event in all of comics hmm. So there's that. Um, we have a deck to look at. Give me one second, guys, because I kind of suck at doing this. Still learning to work this stuff. Um, it was... Uh, let me pull up who it was that gave us this deck. It was Anthony, Anthony right? right? It was Anthony, but you know... Uh, uh, clicking, clicking it right, right now. now. There it is. There it is. I'm bringing it up myself. <sighs> Let's see here. We got Airman. Yeah. Uh, let me put it on the screen for everybody real quick. Do, do, do. Display capture. Boop. Small bit of inception there for everybody. Uh, yeah. So it's Airman. Uh, Airman off air. Uh, looks like this is an Ustad Beam deck. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's ranged. ranged. It, it's air ranged. Yep. It's playing Ustad it's it's Usta Usta Beam, Rapid, Rapid Proto Buster, Hurricane Upper, Upper, Shield Rams. Uh, I'm like, kind of confused on why it's on air, air why it's Airman, air air though. Like, maybe that's why he though. wanted us to talk about it. Uh, let's see here. Um,. One card you can do that with. Like, okay. First of all, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna be very direct on a couple of things. I'm you're you're playing too few attacks for this plan. Yeah. Uh, 16 attacks on a six hand size, or you should probably be playing 18 if you're consistent. Um, I definitely think you should be playing three ever hopefuls. Not great in this format. You should be playing four flawed energy core. It's ridiculous. It should be in your deck as a four X. Um, I'm also really uh, confused why the entire foundation base is a is a three X. Yeah, like there's a lot of cards you could probably cut and play better air cards. Um, like four summer heats, four flawed energy cores. Um, I don't know why he's playing bridging the races. He's not playing. He's only playing one slam. All the rest of his range, which doesn't interact with it very well. Uh, uh, unknown motives. motives. It's actually I like it. It's an underrated card. I like it, so I'm fine with that. Treacherous plan. What is that one? After you block with a foundation, your post next deck gets minus six px with half of the the block at the speed of the block attack rounded up. It's all right. It's not amazing. It's all right. You want to keep blocking. Um. It, it's it's an all right fun deck. I'll say this: it's a good fun deck. It, it I don't know. I'm 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 so I, I do apologize. Anthony. I'm in such a tournament mode right now that looking at a deck like this, kind of like uh, yeah, it should be is, playing. 
This is a locals deck or something. Yeah, this is a fine locals deck. Like if you have um, Air Hurricanes, I think that's his ultra rare. I would be playing that card. I would probably be playing Air Tiki's because Air Tiki's ridiculous with him because you get to play both Airman and Air Tiki effect to protect your protect yourself. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I like. I, I really like Airman. Airman's one of those characters I'm like, I really want him to be good. But you need to build him really this a very weird way to, for him to be good. Yeah. Like, I almost think he's not an air character. I think he may be life or void, personally. I think he may actually be better off life. Like... Like I, I think you're just trying to play, like you're playing life big attacks with him, because then you're just like, ba- like, like playing like HRK with him. You're just like HRK plus three speed. Yeah. Pretty solid. Uh, gain three, gain, like gain three off of it. Like, hey, I said, man, that move, that sounds pretty good actually. I'm trying to think about that. I'm gonna put that one on the back burner. Cause like, like let's just play it right now. Cause I mean. It's just confusing. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, but Airman's, he's like on the, the cusp, like where if there's enough speed hate in the form, if there's enough like people playing like those four speed, five speed attacks, Airman's good because you want, like you're just committing a foundation to, for minus, for reduced your check, your check, which is fine. Um, so how about Airman with Tengu Dive? Oof. Airman Tengu Dive can be pretty good. Uh, your one, you have, you can do it off of life. You can do it off. Air, you can even do it off of air, uh, because then you have something to pump your bridging of races into and pay these costs into, where you're like plus three speed, and like it hits, clears, and then like you have to wait to get him back though. You took a finish. I don't know. I, 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 I'm thinking out loud. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this, like, you can play everywhere, Airman, that makes this, like, seven, ten high for seven. Seven, and, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. ten high for seven with everywhere, then you go into Tengu Dive. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can Hydra Fork, because Hydra Fork's just a really fun card. Yeah. Um... You can do a lot with this guy. This guy. You can do a you can lot. Crash, of... You can play Crash Dive. Yeah. On life or on life or void, and be like, "This is a five mid for. It's an eight mid for three. Deal with it." And it's just like, like I, I think the once per turn. The biggest thing he has is that once per turn of, they try to modify your speed. It's like no. So like, do you just negate? Like if somebody's playing Champa Boy Ties. You just like you just laugh at him like oh that's a good champ Muay Thai I I will stone rain you every time I will not like that car will not do anything relevant. So that's pretty much our recommendation. Is this is a pretty fun fine deck. local fun locals deck. Yeah. If you want to take it up a notch, try a different symbol. Yeah. That's my recommendation. Uh, we pretty much recommend life because life big beats looks pretty good. Hmm. Um, other than that, like we said, uh, try and get some play sets in your foundation base. It's yeah. just, I, it's not a bad thing that you have all three of, it's just very weird. Mm-hmm. And air tiki's. Like, you can cut a couple cards here, put in two air tiki's, you'll be fine at five foundation, at five assets. Maybe you can even go just down to four assets, two sweet baby challenge, two air tiki. Cut something down, maybe move some stuff to the sideboard, even out some numbers. Yeah. Reinception and go back. Um, what was the other hmm. announce? What else we got for tonight? Um, not much. I have not gotten an email this week. Uh, most of I, I probably within the next week I should be getting. Uh, the response from Organized Play for Final Fantasy to figure out what's going on with that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, I sent an email to them. They said they would get back to us before the set release. Hopefully, we'll have something to demo and talk about and get some more information. Uh, uh, let's think. There's not a, much else going on. Uh, um, 
Huntington asked us to let anybody know driving through the Indiana area uh, on their way to Nationals to please contact them. So I guess go to Jarek uh, and uh, talk to him about this because they are still looking for rides to get down to Nationals. So yeah. hit up the Huntington, Indiana uh, Facebook group and let them know if you're passing through and if you could help them out, that would be appreciated. Uh, yep. Also, um, while we're on the subject of thanking people, uh, thank everybody that took the time to share uh, my friend's uh, husband's GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. She was very, very grateful to everybody that got out and shared it. It really, really made, uh, means a lot to me that you guys would go out and do that. Mm -hmm. I know that money's tight, especially around this year because we do have nationals, but no, if you guys donated or you just shared it, it was just very much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, um, let me think. What else do we got? Uh, other than that, not too much is going on. Uh, if you're in the path of, uh, of the hurricane, be safe. Yes. Don't be stupid. Please don't be stupid. Yes. There is already the joke coming out that if a dolphin hits your house, do not go check on it. That is merely the hurricane trying to trick you into going outside. Um, yeah, the hurricane's pretty serious, guys. Like, if you, for those of us that are kind of landlocked and up in the north, you know it's bad when Disney, land, Disney World shuts down for something. So, they are completely shut down and closed. That's how bad this hurricane is going to be. Yeah. Disney does but, not like to lose money, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is, this is not a, this is a high-end storm. Like, if you're, I know we don't have a lot of players in Florida, but like, and the ones I do know of are on the other coasts. Uh, but you know, I know people. I you know, just you know, everybody has friends and family all over the country. You know, just tell them to be safe. Don't be stupid. Don't stay. If you're in the path of this thing, and you have the ability to leave still. Like if you're in Georgia, you have, if you have family that's like in Savannah or something like that out of the Georgia group, and they're like thinking about staying. Get them out of there. Just, just, just tell them that it's it's just better. Put them up in your place for a couple of days. It's better than having them, you know, have some terrible thing happen. Because I, 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 I just got. That's just my whole thing. Because I don't want to see. I don't want to hear a story. I don't want to see a thing pop up on my screen on Facebook about you know somebody loses. You know, I, I actually I lost. I had friends who lost family in, in Katrina. And Katrina was like everybody was like. It's not going to be a thing, and then it turned into a shitstorm. Yeah. Sorry, but I don't want to hear to turn into the, that same thing start happening again. I mean, when even the governor on television this morning literally says point blank, "This storm is going to kill people." Get no, out. that was the that was not a, that was a weatherman. No, who the governor said, that. said it this morning too. Oh yeah, the governor said the governor said it like kind of like that. Eh. Way and then like, but uh, there was a weatherman in Orlando who said, "This thing's moving. It, it, this thing's going right up the coast and ramming up the coast. Like this will kill people who are idiots." And I'm like, "If like people will die if they don't if they stay in the range of the storm." And I'm like, "Okay, Keep, don't stop scaring people." So well, he's been reprimanded already for his comments, but like right now that storm is pretty much like it's it is like the outer bands are just wrapping around florida right now it's gonna be a long night things are the sustained winds are currently 140 miles an hour at this moment it's ridiculous yeah so uh, on a brighter more cheery note uh new anime season started as I am a grumpy old anime person that must judge everything harshly as i grew up in the day and age of saint Seiya. Before the land times of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, I can go out and recommend the new Tiger Mask series. I do too. I liked it. Um, if you understand the anything about wrestling tropes and wrestle, how if you have, if you have understanding how wrestling was in the eighties and before then, like with international, like come out how wrestlers would travel internationally. You will understand this show, and you'll see all the little things. You're like, man, they're poking fun at some people, and I wonder if they even know they're being poked fun about. 
I'm pretty sure the main female villain's like supposed to be Stephanie McMahon or something. That's just how I'm interpreting her character as. Well, I mean, you know, this is good classic 80s stuff. Nothing says 80s like a training montage for the villains where uh, someone gets a... Dudes are, climb, dudes are climbing up a mountain, then one of them dies, and they just keep going. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not even that. It's the, oh, you think you're going to be number one. No, if I kill you, I'll be number one. Be number one. And yep. then number two becomes number dead. Right. <laughs> yep. So... It, it's a good old fashioned, like the eyes of the old classic 80s size. They got that big, thick, heavy black outline. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the cutaways. Yeah. Like they're, like they're, they're zoom ins. Like they're doing like, the, they do that, like almost like video game style, like action event moments where it's like, like they zoom into the screen to an event. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. I like the style. So, you know, good stuff. Uh, not too much in the way of anime. Comics have been are still consistently good. Uh, I may actually pick up a Marvel comic because that uh -huh. new version of Champions is coming out where the kids uh, all team up and pretty much give the finger to the adults and say, yeah, we're actually going to go fight villains, not other heroes. Screw you guys. Mm. I can't wait for the uh, for Boom, uh, Boom Studios uh, WWE comic. They're gonna do storylines, like they're gonna do like full storylines, like they're their first their first um, uh, six up uh, six uh, issue arc is gonna be the like the events of the shield, leading up to it's supposed to be like their first like the first issue is how they all came together. The second issue is the their their year of like terror type of thing. The third issue is the end of the shield. And then it's supposed to be like six issues of like the current what's happened currently, and it looks great. Like, cause it's like they're just like kayfabe the, the the hell out of it. Yep. Yeah. Which, which, which I love when a comic does when those old like there was a WWF comic back in the day that did that. They just kayfabe the character to the end. Like there was one where the Undertaker was actually an Undertaker, and Paul Bear was like the funeral director as well and the big boss man was working for the cops because they thought uh the undertaker was you know and paul bear were actually were like doing something with the bodies it, it, i have to find it it was i have to find like video like an Im image or post of all of these there was like one where ted dibiase at his mansion and virgil gets pissy with him so him and virgil fight all over the place and then it ends and like ted is like virgil give me a good fight you got you keep your job and he throws him like twenty bucks. It was so funny. Like there, there, there's a bunch of these out there. Speaking of wrestling in various formats, uh, I hear Cody Rhodes is continuing uh, his friendship with Stephen Amell as he's going to be. Uh, I believe episode he, three. He, episode he, three. He will be on. I believe he's actually a reoccurring villain for the first half of the season. Yep, he's the uh, he's a drug dealer. He's a new. He's pushing a new drug on. Uh, oh on my the city god! Now. Please tell me he's not pushing China Cat. <laughs> I don't know. There's very little. They changed his character name because it was too close to his the name that it was too close to Cody Rhodes, and they didn't want to have an issue. So uh, they changed his name completely, and they had to redub uh, part of the episode. Well, the reason I bring this up, uh, brought up the China Cat thing, was that's uh, for those that have ever read the horribly awful cry for justice storyline where speedy's daughter's killed that actually was the drug uh he was hooked on was oh. china cat oh jeez. and supposedly uh arrow's supposed to be dealing with prometheus this season hmm. if you know who that is i know who prometheus is okay yeah. i want to see if they pull off the multicolor suit <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh I, I'm very much as more interested. Uh, I want to see how the Flash does their thing this season. That's my kind of keeping an eye on it. I'm trying to. I'm literally trying to power catch up because I missed the second half of the second season. I'm trying to get through it all really quick. I'm almost done. Uh, so that I'll understand Flash. I'll understand where everything's at right now because I kind of watched the first half. I, I watched a little bit. and I'm like, I'm missing stuff. Hmm. Just a so I'm powering it up. Yeah. Uh, 
I, a show, a, a new show I want to recommend if uh, if he was to check out. Timeless. I've watched the first episode of it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And it's one of the first shows that I've ever seen with time travel that actually might work. And I might not be angry about it. Oh, that's the show where they got to like actually cause the Hindenburg, don't they? The, so the first episode was they go back in time because some they're chasing – somehow the, the, there is a secret project of a company. They built time travel. They just figured it out. And a terrorist group breaks in. They go back in time. And they go back to where the Hindenburg – and they stop the Hindenburg from burning up upon arrival. But it was, in, in true fact – if the Hind- the, the right the flight back for the Hindenburg was going to have like all of these people all of these like military veteran military people that were connected with World War II uh the what the Rockefeller who helped build the UN they were all going to be there yeah. so his objective was to kill all those people the, this guy's plan was to kill all those people in that event and it's got some great actors in it uh I hope it sticks around. It got really good reviews. Uh, it's, I feel it's like, it's not. It's obviously not Doctor Who on a historical context because it's all historical based. It's like, it's very well done trying travel because obviously the first episode ends and sh- crap's gone all right already in the world. We're like. This lady came back. The main character came back. Her mother no longer had cancer, but her sister never existed, and she's now engaged. Like literally, time just completely changed already. And there's like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but and it was. Enjoy it, season but three it, of Flash. It, what? <laughs> we're gonna enjoy season three of Flash. I, I I know I already know what I know what Flashpoint's about. Oh no no! Like, this is their version of Flashpoint, which is even better. Oh God. <laughs> All right. So, everybody, uh, have a good weekend. Good luck to everybody at Nationals. We are most likely, unless we get some crazy announcements, uh, probably not going to have any events, uh, any any show next week. Uh, if we do, I will, if I have available, I will remote in uh, via my phone. Don't hope, to, hopefully I don't have to, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, uh, we will definitely be reaching out to some people after nationals, I uh, expect a lot of reports, uh, getting people on the show and talking to people. Uh, do also to friends over out of uh, Omaha for UFS University. They have a lot of content they're going to be posting in the next week. Uh, you can see my deck tech of Iceman, where literally all I say is, Iceman, Ice, what is your deck specialty? And I'm like, going in. Going in deep. <laughs> That's all I can do. Like that's all it did. All right. All so. right, guys. So we will see, hopefully see you next week. If not, just, you know, check the Facebook. We will let you guys know. Um, as I said, go to the fa- go to the YouTube, like, subscribe, leave comments. I read the comments. Usually I read them Friday because that's the day after I post the video, and it gives me something to do when I'm bored at work. Um, other than that, uh... Probably we're still up in the air on streaming gaming at the moment, but uh, we'll let you guys know. It's just money's been really tight for me, so I've been able to get a new mic. And, you know, maybe Jesse might come back to the Heroes of the Storm now that they got Samaru. Samaru. Eh. I don't know. I'm going to try. I, I, have to play, I haven't played Heroes of the Storm in a while. They got that like, new mode. I haven't played Overwatch in a while either. I haven't played Overwatch in a while either. I'm kind of like, I, 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 pick, I play what I need to de stress. Nah. But all my friends stopped playing Overwatch, and I'm like, ah, I don't like playing this game by myself. Well, they got that new mode, Heroes of the Brawl. Oh yeah, that that's a thing. But I I, I want to I'm gonna try Heroes of the Storm with the I logged I have to log in because supposedly I got a free character. I have a gold equivalency of a free character, so I have to decide if there's a new character I want because like I have to actually watch all the I have literally have had to watch every video. Of all the new characters since I stopped playing, so that I know which one I want. I got throw. Probably going to be Zarya. Probably going to be Zarya, because she looks insane. I got throw. <laughs> hmm? It gave me the choice of three characters, and I got throw. <laughs> yeah, I have them already. So all right, I guys. have all the ones they gave up. All, all right, right, everybody. Hope you have a good night.
Okay, now we'll wait about 10, 20 seconds for this thing to actually stop streaming.